Hey guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Out in the shop tonight, and I got just a quick little project I want to show you. This is a very early mock up of this project, so I won't have a lot of details for you tonight, but I just want to show it to you, maybe pique your interest a little bit, and find out if some of you may be interested in making one of these for yourself. Um, this will probably work on any scroll saw as long as you can figure out a way to mount it. And uh, I'm going to zoom in here let you see it working and uh, then we'll go back and talk about it a little bit. I do not have the sensor mounted to the machine yet so I'm going to have to hand hold it uh, so bear with me while I get that set up. Okay I'm down here underneath the saw holding this uh, Hall effect sensor uh, in place because I don't have it mounted yet and what a Hall effect sensor is is it measures uh, magnetic fields so I'm going to turn the saw on here, let you see this, and then I'll explain it. All right, now what I'm going to do, you can see it's reading around 400. I'm going to go up here and turn it up. There's 600 strokes per minute, 850 strokes per minute, over a thousand all the way up to max to 1500 strokes per minute. So obviously what this is, it's a digital readout for your scroll saw uh, that will show you how many strokes per minute uh, you have it adjusted to. Now I can't tell you this is the most uh, useful gadget that I've ever come up with, but it was a fun little project. And uh, you can put this whole uh, thing together for probably around $30. It's a cheap project. It's easy to build. I'm using an off-the-shelf uh, part. Uh, the circuit board is an off-the-shelf part that's like $20. Very cheap. Right now what I'm working on is a way to mount the Hall Effect sensor underneath the saw. Uh, I've got the magnet mounted to the uh, bottom arm, uh, but I still need to find a good way to mount the, uh, the uh, sensor so it stays in place. Let me get underneath the saw here with the camera and I'll show you what it looks like down there. Sorry for the shaky video, but I'm gonna have to hand hold this camera to get up underneath the saw here for you to see it. Um, this is the lower arm and let me see if I can get my finger over there. This is the magnet that I've got mounted to the lower arm and I've just got it mounted by putting another real strong magnet on the other side to hold it in place. Uh, but obviously we would probably end up epoxying this magnet to the arm. And then this piece, the Hall Effect sensor, mounts next to that and actually a little bit below it, something like this. So it will actually set in there, oh, pretty close to the arm, but right, you know, but away from it and down towards the lower part of the stroke. And what I'm thinking about doing is building a bracket out from this piece out here to hold it. But I've got to come up with some way where, you know, it's not interfering with the, tilting the table or, you know, anything else that you're going to run into. So I have to work on that. Uh, I don't want to mount it on the upper arm because it's definitely in the way up there. Uh, the lower arm is the place for it to be. So anyway, that's what I'm looking, uh, what I'm working on this week. And uh, if you find it interesting, shoot me an email and uh, maybe we'll uh, put our heads together and come up with a better way of mounting this sensor down here. So again, it looks like this, and then when the saw is running, of course that lower arm moves up and down and puts the uh, Hall Effect magnet uh, closer and farther away from that magnet, which registers the strokes per minute. 